All right, let's talk Lakers uh, and Grizzlies. Memphis right now looks like a really noisy fraud. They play chippy, they chirp, they hit you in the junk, and they trailed 35-9 at one point against the Lakers. 35-9. I feel like they're a mile from the title. Sacramento's young, but they feel like one good player away. Memphis is young, and they feel like two star players away. Um, the Lakers' maturity is on display. They're playing focused, mature basketball. They look like the two seed, and Memphis, the two seed, looks undisciplined. You know what happens is teams end up taking the personality of their star, and the Lakers with LeBron look workmanlike, and with John the Grizzlies, they look erratic and undisciplined. Sorry, but LeBron's not taking the bait. It's kind of embarrassing that that's Memphis's fastball. Dylan Brooks trying to get LeBron to take the bait. LeBron's been in this league so long. His rookie year, the number one song was In the Club by 50 Cent. You're trying to rattle that guy? Yeah, he's been around a while. I don't know if you've heard. LeBron's the all-time leading scorer. He's played 2,000 more minutes than any player in league history. He's got four rings. When LeBron broke into the league, Apple hadn't even started working on the iPhone. And this is your JV game plan to have Dylan Brooks get LeBron James all worked up. You can do that with a lot of guys in this league. <laughs> not going to do that with LeBron James. You got to have a better game plan than that. And again, young teams sometimes erode. Cleveland's getting pushed around a little bit like by the Knicks. Surprising, but it happens. Sacramento is in a dogfight against an older veteran team. It happens. Memphis is wilting in front of our eyes. Yes, John Morant's a dynamic, high-flying vertical star, but he's been erratic, and the team feels erratic all season long. Here's all you need to know about Memphis. When they were underdogs, when they were a road dog, they went 0 for 15. 11 of the 15 times they were a road dog, they lost by double digits. Memphis is the loudest guy in the bar. He's never the smartest or the toughest. He just wants you to think he is. This team doesn't have any fight. This team has to compensate for its lack of ability and scoring and expertise and skill, which Sacramento has tons of, by being loud and chippy. You're trying to get LeBron to go for the bait? <laughs> One of the smartest guys that's ever played it. Here's LeBron after another convincing win. This is not my first rodeo. I've, I've had this throughout my career with, you know, certain individuals, you know, it's easy. It's literally easy if you want to. We won tonight. Let me not start. I don't want to start this. It's a lot to, let me just, we won. You had a hell of a game, my boy. This is, you had a hell of a game. I'm not going to do this. <laughs> uh, nor should he. Again, I do think uh, you tend to become your star player. And, you know, Steph Curry can be a little wild at times, but he's flashy, skilled, and fun. That's what the Warriors are. De'Aaron Fox, young but very, very mature, uh, plays fast but under control. So do the Kings. Uh, LeBron James, workmanlike, focused, no nonsense, show up, deliver, go home to his family. It's exactly what the Lakers look like. And the Grizzlies, John Morant's a wildly gifted vertical talent, but he can be personally and his game a little erratic, and that's what the Memphis Grizzlies are. It's not about having a star in the NBA. It's about what star do you have. The Spurs with Tim Duncan, again, mature, workmanlike. Miami teams in a flashy city with D. Wade, workmanlike, played real defense, uh, strategically, bit by bit, tore you apart. Uh, I, I'm just watching the Lakers and the Grizzlies here, and I, and I feel like LeBron is just like rolling his eyes at this stuff. You got to have a better game plan against the senior staten, statesman in the NBA than let's get in LeBron's head. That ain't it, man. 
That is not going to work with LeBron James or a Michael Jordan at the end or a Kareem at the end. I don't know if it ever would have worked at LeBron. By the time he got to Miami, he lost to the Mavs. He came back that next year. He's kind of been a different player. Totally confident, totally focused, all about rings. Uh, but it's, it's nice to watch. These playoffs have not delivered a lot of surprises. Sands the Knicks. That one's been a bit of a surprise. But I think you're seeing what a lot of us expected to see. Very rarely do people, Jay Mack and I were two of them, like the seven seed over the two seed. And I think this thing has basically played out as we thought. Memphis is young and chippy and chirpy, what you said all year long. But the guy that does that at the bar doesn't have much to, to bring beyond that. He's overcompensating. And I just don't think the Grizzlies have enough baskets. I don't. Uh, Kings dubs is different. It, it feels like the Western Conference Finals. A couple years ago in the NFL, AFC specifically, uh, Patrick Mahomes uh, and, and Josh Allen played. It was just a divisional round game. They had a combined seven touchdowns, no interceptions, threw for 700 yards, led their respective teams in rushing. It was one for the ages. And this feels similar, where you got your Steph Curry and your Mahomes, who's got a trophy or two, right? And then you got this understudy, who just is a jaw-dropping talent, De'Aaron Fox and Josh Allen. And again, De'Aaron, a lot of guys in this league are great on a Tuesday in the regular season in Orlando. You make your mark in the postseason, and the Warriors threw Draymond Green at De'Aaron Fox. It slowed him down just enough to win. But being in Sacramento, the combination of it's a very small market and it's on the West Coast, you get lost very easily. This is a coming out party, and De'Aaron Fox is special. The loser in this is going to be the NBA fans because one of these teams is going home in a week. I went and looked at the box score this morning. Both teams shot over 47%. Both teams shot at least 40% from three-point land. Both were brilliant at the line. Both had 44 rebounds. The assists, the fast break points, the points in the paint all even. It's an absolute coin flip. I feel like I'm watching the dynastic warriors and the baby warriors. I feel like Sacramento can Golden State win one game on the road. And I don't know if they can. I don't know if they can. I feel like it's going to go seven. The advantage the Warriors have Sacramento, and I've seen this a lot in my life, could get a little tight. Warriors have been there before. But uh, that thing yesterday is an absolute coin flip. It's the Western Conference Finals. It's the Bills, Chiefs in the divisional round. What a bummer. Both these teams can't keep playing another seven games after this seven games because you feel that's how long it will go. Here's Steve Kerr after. These games are uh, coming down to the, to the wire, and um, you just got to, you know, really finish possessions and, and try to give yourself the best chance. And then sometimes it's just, does the ball go in or not? Uh, that's what it came down to yesterday. Does the ball go in or not? 